Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Jonathan Porticalian here. Today, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff on this pool today. Backfill, return fittings, two skimmers are going on this swimming pool, and we're going to install the light. So, lots to do today. This is a black fiberglass pool, 35 foot illusion by Imagine Pools. And uh, we've got the water filling up now, so let's get into it. All right, guys, one thing I'm looking for before I start backfilling is I'm looking for the walls and how straight or crooked they may be. In this case, the bottom lip here is really straight right now. Uh, so we're, we can go ahead and backfill all the way up. We're fine. On this shell, I can already see toward the end, right over here, um, it's bowing in. So we may see what we can do with water. There's only so much you can do with the shell like that when it bows in. Um, it's not like you can support it. You know, they bow in on both sides, probably due to the the corner benches um, but it is what it is what it is you know it's part of the fiberglass so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing backfilled all the way to here um, there's enough support in here that it's not gonna be that big a deal because the water's lower than it but it's only like six eight inches so that's kind of my rule is about eight inches up or down with rock and uh, water I always like the water to be higher uh, but it depends on where it is on the shell. So, um, and specifically, I know my shells that we sell. I know that it can handle that without pushing in or have or being an issue. goes we're at five eighths plus almost three quarter three quarter plus i'm gonna redo it i wanted to get to five eighths is where i want jared's real all right jack one placed if I had to guess, I would say right there was probably where I want it. We'll see if it works, huh? Go back a little bit farther. Yeah, right there. Not too much. Just measured it. We got 5 eighths heavy, 5 eighths plus. Uh, that's a good variance between 3 quarter plus. I think one of them was 7 eighths, 7 eighths minus. 3 quarter minus, 3 quarter plus, 5 eighths plus. That's within... Seven eighths could have been a bump too, who knows, but that's within an eighth to a quarter, but mainly like an eighth. So, we're good.
it's good. No time to mess around, man. Gotta move quick because this stuff sets up fast. Sixteen inches. Now I'm gonna let that set up and that one set up before I pull on these. I don't wanna have to put any 90s here. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue them up and just let them sit. Just let that sit. These are just to hold it anyway, just enough to pour concrete. And then after that, you know, Evan's gonna tie them into the box and no big deal after that. So, you know, I'm not gonna be tight and I just wanted to let you guys know that. Alrighty, conduit's in. Now these do count as 90s technically, but it's better than putting in a whole 90 right there, in my opinion. And as long as you can't, you don't put too much stress on these fittings over here, which I didn't, then I kind of like to do it this way. Um, but we're done, we're ready to put lights in here. Probably the easiest one yet. Okay. Got four, five, six, ten. 
10 feet or what? Hey uh Alrighty guys. We're done for this job for the day. Water's getting up over the sun deck. We got all three lights ran. Kinda looks cool. It's like spiders out. Um everything's run up into here. So Evan's gonna put all the panel stuff over here, but um, that's good. Jesus is gonna do the plumbing. I gotta mark out the equipment pad, but uh, we're good for rock. Nothing goes on this side, but it's backfilled enough. And then over here, I'm waiting for it to get a little higher so the shell will get pushed out a little bit more. It's pretty bowed in. So hopefully I can do something with that. Um, let me think, I think that's it. Two skimmers, man, two skimmers, three lights are installed, three returns. We're ready to go. Floaters in so no algae builds up over the course of this pool. I got a sump tube. Got our sauna tubes for the pillars. Lights are in. Ready to go. We're going to mark out this pad really quick for Jesus. Jesus! Alright y'all, we're back at the other job. We got three lights, same as the other one. They're going to go right on this wall over here. So uh, it's pretty much the same as the other one. So we're just going to get this done in three, two, one. All right, so we had a little change of plans. We just went ahead and put the ends in. Um, I decided I want Jesus to run all the plumbing first. That's how we normally have done it, but we were just trying to get ahead of the game. Um, just planning ahead because we're taking off tomorrow. But I figured, you know, it's another 20 minutes around the lights because Jesus normally runs the, con the conduit, so he'll do all that. We did put the clips in here, so it's ready to go. All he has to do is run it up, stub it up. All the fittings are here, and we're good to go. So we will do that on Monday morning. So that is it for the day. Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out the free coaching giveaway link below and I will see you guys on Monday.